In this exercise we will demonstrate how to exchange protection settings between power factory, stationware, and protection device specific software. First we will log in to the stationware. As you can see, in the stationware, devices are sorted according to network topology. We will navigate to protection device of interest. As you can see, this protection relay contains two settings files. One has status applied and the other is in status planning. We will open the settings file with the status planning. Let us compare the settings in station where were those in the protection device specific software. As you can see, the phase distance settings for all three active zones are different. We will now export all the settings from the protection device specific software, and import them into our planning settings file in stationware. After the import is executed, a small report is created, listing all relevant changes. In order to verify these settings, we will import them into the corresponding protection device representation in Power Factory. For that, we will change the status of the settings file from planning to Power Factory. Open Power Factory and navigate to Protection Device of Interest. Connect Power Factory and Station Where by inputting the service endpoint and user credentials. We will show our X diagram for this relay. Let us link Power Factory relay device and the station where relay and import the settings. Notice how the RX diagram automatically changes. Let us compare the imported values with the ones in station where. Now we will check these settings in Power Factory. A short circuit event at a point 80% along the line is analyzed. This causes the relay to trip in the first zone. 
The same calculation is also done on the next line. The relay also trips in the first zone. Let us have a look at a time distance plot. For the time distance plot we will need to define a path that contains the relay of interest. The relay of interest is the red one. Now let us run a three phase short circuit sweep. You can see that first zone is too long and that there is interference with the light blue relay in neighboring station. This has to be changed. We will limit the first zone on 80% of the line length. At the end the new settings will be transferred back to the protection device specific software.